ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ a few weeks ago i gave an interview in which i explained that there are many people many of my brothers and sisters that are wondering why i changed the way i do prachar why my thought process changed for a very long time since i was 16 years old i've been doing prachar in my life i'm always learning something new and i will continue to learn because i'm a sick sikhi jana whenever something good comes in your life you should welcome it walk the path sanj kari jai gune ke ri chhod avgan chali hai so we should all share our virtues so i have seen that there are many people that want panthik ekta to happen the whole panth should be one everyone should have one soch Today many people are doing ardas wondering how our panth became so divided. I too was wondering the same thing. So now I'm going to repeat what I said in that interview and hope you will understand my point. I know one thing is for sure whoever is firmly stuck in a specific group they'll never accept any of the words I'm about to say. Mannan ge o jede neutral a. Or those who are connected to jathe bandis but they truly from their heart want the panth to be in chardi kala panth ek hove they'll listen to my words and try to understand my point of view but those people who are firmly rooted in any specific group or jathe bandi they won't listen so why did i change why did my soch change the main reason was when i realized During Amrit Sanchar Amrit Shikan vele a ceremony that's recognized as the thing that connects all six khande bate di pol in essence Guru Granth Sahib's bani is what makes us all one and is the one way of living we should all adhere to all of us should read gurbani in order to mold our minds gurbani di vichar tara ban jayegi my thinking will be like this your thinking will be like this because gurbani activates the brain and wakes us up our soch or our thought process will be one but khande bate da amrit is also a priceless concept where all brothers and sisters drink from one bata that also helps us become one with one soch and one maryada now at this time as of what i'm seeing and what you can see whoever's neutral can see this take this example In one household 10 people want to take amrit. As of today there are 10 different maryadas established in our panth. 10 tarah di maryada kat to kat. 10 tarah di maryada kaum vich chal rahi hai. Now everyone's personal maryada is advertised as the one. Advertised how so? By using the khanda bata ceremony, by using the panj pyare concept to promote their personal ideology please try to understand this samjhan di khechal karyo seven people in a family they all want to take amrit now one went and took amrit from sri akal takht sahib the father one son goes to nanak sir and takes amrit another son goes to rada sahib for it the mother of the family She goes to Taksal to take Amrit. The daughter goes to Hajur Sahib and takes Amrit there. Now just like this, the sixth member of the family, let's say another daughter, she takes Amrit from a Khand Kirtani Jatha. And then the seventh member of the family goes to a Nahang Singh Jatha and takes Amrit there. Now this family has seven people. seven different places where they took amrit and our people have faith in this ceremony that when amrit sanchar happens whatever the panch pyare tell us we must accept it we must take those words as the gospel because when the panch pyare say something it's guru gobind singh saying it now they've all taken amrit all the family members come home Coincidentally one was at Hajur Sahib one was at Nanak Sahib one was at Rada Sahib one was at Akal Takht Sahib one was at Taksal one was at Akhand Kirtani Jatha one took Amrit from the Nihangs one went to Prab Milne Ka Chao and took Amrit there so everyone took Amrit and arrived home for dinner 
ਟੇਬਲ ਤੇ ਬਹਿ ਕੇ ਰੋਟੀ ਖਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਪੰਜ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਸੈਡ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅੰਟਿਲ ਨਾਨਕ ਹੋ ਸੀਪੀ ਹੀ ਸੱਚ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਪੰਜ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਸੈਡ ਇਟਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਟਿਲ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਵਨ ਪਲੇਸ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਵੇਅਰ ਫੋਰ ਕਲਰਸ ਅਨਦਰ ਪਲੇਸ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਐਨੀ ਕਲਰ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਵੇਅਰ ਵਨ ਪਲੇਸ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਈਟਿੰਗ ਮੀਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅਲਾਊਡ ਅਨਦਰ ਪਲੇਸ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਈਟਿੰਗ ਮੀਟ ਇਜ਼ ਰੋਂਗ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ at one place they said wearing a keski is a must another place they said you don't need to wear a keski it's not a big deal there's also one maryada taking place that gives amrit to women only after reading japji sahib instead of a khanda they use a kirpan for women separate from men even this kind of maryada is happening today Now all those family members came back after taking amrit from all those different places. Now all those 8 or 10 or whatever many people in the family come sit at the dinner table. Now think for a second, can their minds ever think alike? Onna di kade soch ral sakdi hai. Panj pyaryan ne kya, a family came here a couple of days ago from Delhi. The daughter took amrit somewhere else and the mom took it somewhere else. The mom says do this and the daughter says I'm not gonna because they took amrit from different places. The panch told me though. And she says the panch told me though. Mainu panja ne kya hukm kita mainu panch pyareyan ne. Now we must think would our guru really want this? Now all the members of the family however many took different amrit from different places. What happened is that the groups the sampradaya the dere the babbe put their personal ideologies through the panch pyare into all of our family members dimag chagi panch pyaryan de jariye now what happened is that the members of the family can't sit together because their minds can't meet he only reads mool mantra till gur prasad he reads it till nanak ho si pi sach one goes out and eats meat the others don't let meat in the house one wears four colors the others don't Mom says girls must wear a keski it's critical daughter says I'm not gonna now just think for a second how can the whole family live in harmony if they all have different rules and they all think guru gobind singh has told them the way menu panch pyare ne dassya each and every one will remain firm and say what they told me is the real truth sampradayi ban gaye par panthak nahi ban sake ek soch nahi ban saki Just try and think this one thing. Can this actually happen that Guru Gobind Singh somewhere is saying something else? Kithe kuch keh rahe hai, kithe kuch keh rahe hai. Did Guru Sahib make 10 types of amrit? Or did he make one? What's your answer? That he made one. He didn't make 10 different types. Guru Sahib didn't make 10 different maryadas. He made one maryada. But today there are 10 different maryadas. These different codes of conduct, different types of maryadas create different types of six. Amrit now has different varieties you can choose from. Aashikna ke aashikna ke aashikna ke aashikna. Who made these? Babbe like me. So that we can look unique, we made our own maryadas. We don't want to make the panth one. No, no, no. Whoever crosses our path, we try to force our maryada on to them. But when they force it, they do it in a real subtle way. They don't say this. A baba like me doesn't just straight up say, "This is our maryada, follow it." No, no, no. In the presence of Guru Granth Sahib, he gets five of his men and makes them into panch pyare. After establishing panch pyare he's playing the game this way the poor person comes in with such humbleness and faith to take amrit kinni sharda nal oh aaya but people like me use the panch pyare to put their ideology into someone's mind who gave you the authority to make your group's ideology into the panths such a beautiful concept of khande baate da amrit that makes the whole kaum one who gave you the authority to use that to put divisions in the kaum how are these different maryadas created as i've stated before when a leader of a cult like me dies after that what happens is whatever my daily routine consisted of people start following it and forcing it on everyone else how to fix this there's only one solution Everyone stop preaching their own maryada and the panch pyare say one thing mool mantra is till gur prasad or 
whatever we agree upon, but it must be one. Then our whole community can be one. The Panj Pyare everywhere must say the same thing. They should say the same thing at Akal Takht Sahib, the same thing in Taksal, the same thing in the AKJ, the same thing in Delhi should be said. Ohi Rada Sahib, Ohi Nanak Sar, Ohi Nihang Singh, Ohi Hajur Sahib. The whole calm wherever someone is taking Amrit, one soch will be given to everyone. A universal thought process. But what the problem here is, that was such a beautiful concept, everyone used it to promote their own ideologies. And they split up the whole Sikh community. Just like the example of that 10 member family, like this hundreds of thousands of our people are taking Amrit, Amrit Shakreya, and everyone's Maryada is different from the next. And in a village, one's Nanak Sariya, one's Radiala, one's Taksali. Koi missionary, one's from Hajur Sahib, one's a Nihang Singh. Where's the Panthic six? Unadi vichartara, unadi soch ni mildi. Their beliefs don't meet. What should happen is if the ring is separate, necklace separate, and earring separate, melt them all together and you'll have pure gold. But they'll have to leave their own shape. Milavat vika dini paniya. If we want to take out the contamination, we'll have to lose our shapes, and for that, you'll need fortitude. And I realized this point about three and a half years earlier that we should have a common maryada. So I started doing Amrit Sanchar according to Siri Akal Takht Sahib's maryada. The reason I did that interview explaining this was because I had a pain in my heart and thought maybe another brother from any Jathe Bandi might also be thinking, it's not like we're going to live forever, let's become one. Look, you can keep your personal maryada however you want. Whatever your views are, keep them to yourselves. However much nitnim you want to do, you can do it. But the Panthik maryada should be one. If you take a close look at all of the maryadas, according to Gurbani, which one is perfect? Even that one has some issues, but compared to the rest of the maryadas, Siri Akal Takht Sahib's maryada is the closest one to Gurmat. Siddhant De Akal Takht Sahib Di Maryada Nedeya Jyotani Jigoniya You are not to do Kumbh Nariyal Jal Many points like these are in accordance to Gurmat In accordance to Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Akal Takht Sahib's Maryada is mostly alright it can be improved, but if we all become one first, then even if there's an issue in that maryada, we can clear it. One Amrit Sanchar ceremony that gives one soch to everyone. Ekko ek tariqa. So now how come people are making so much noise about Panthik Ekta? Why are they saying the Panth should become one? Panth Ek ni hunda. You guys are on the outside saying that the Panth should become one. But by doing your own type of Amrit Sanchar, you're brainwashing your personal beliefs through the Panj Pyare. Then how can the Panth become one? We are loyal to a Kal Takht Sahib. To what? The Golik? The gold? The building? What are we loyal to? We are loyal to the principles. A Kal Takht Sahib de Siddhant nu asin samarpat hona. So I became loyal to a Kal Takht Sahib and started doing Amrit Sanchar and speaking for it on stage. From that day, hate started coming my way, saying he's turned missionary, he doesn't do jyots anymore, galt prachar karda, he's preaching evil. Like this, the hatred started. So in reality, what these guys should have said was, we don't like you at all, you're a bad person, say that to me. But what I'm saying, is this wrong too? I'm wrong. But this issue I'm discussing, is this really wrong? Hasn't our calm became divided with all these maryadas? What you should have said was, We don't like you at all. You're a bad man. But what you're saying is true. But what happened? The opposite. In response to me, these guys released a bunch of videos. Now this man's end is near. Why? Now he started to attack Khande Bate the Amrit even. The whole explanation I gave, was this an attack on Amrit? He's calling Amrit bad. Now he's even started questioning Amrit. So now he's a Panth Dokhi and he must be executed. These Jagowale guys, those bird brains that are sitting in the UK posting videos. You guys don't wait one minute to post a video when I say something. Why don't you ever speak on any of the other real issues? There are many other issues too. 
उस वे भी वीडियो ठोक के बनाया करो इन दीज थर्टी मिनट वीडियो डू एवरी विंग एट वन पॉइंट अक्रॉस डिड यू गिव मी एन आंसर टू माई क्वेश्चन दीज आर डेथ थ्रेट दीज आर आंसर मैन यू कॉल दीज आंसर लाइक दिस कम हियर वंस विदाउट यूर बॉडी गार्ड यू हैव आर्म्ड मैन विद यू कम टू अस अन आर्म्ड देन वो टेल यू Go to some data or some parda, and they'll tell you. Inu tam ki kende ya pa i? Jago wale o. This is called a threat. This isn't what you call an answer. You're saying you gave me an answer? These are threats. You're saying the panth is one? All right, then do this. Whichever gurdwara you have a clamp on, ask the akhand kirtani jatha of Derby to perform Amrit Sanchar at your gurdwara. At your own gurdwara, let them do Amrit Sanchar. You'll never let it happen. You want your panch pyare to tell your maryada. They want their own maryada to be told. We won't let you take Amrit without wearing a keski. And you guys say no. Our maryada of Taksal should be told because it's the Puratan historic maryada. And the Nihang Singhs are saying no. Our maryada is Puratan. Hajur Sahib says no our maryada is historic all you guys are just promoting your own personal maryadas do me a favor brothers try to put a little bit of pressure on your mind and think these renowned jathedars of akal takht sahib the five singh sahibs wherever they go they go to nanak sar to rada sahib as well on the 6th of june they all went to taksal too I want to ask them one question. These guys honor you on stage. Satkar kar deya. Give you money as well. You know how the whole procedure goes. I know cuz I did this stuff too. But if you say this, is Amrit Sanchar taking place in whichever sampradha you're visiting? Kal takht de jathedaro. Panch pyare of the Kal takht Singh Saab ji, make this one request. On stage you've honored us greatly since there's Amrit Sanchar today we would love to be the ones to perform it in your darbar sahib see what happens they'll say theek hai you've came on stage we will honor you in front of the public but we can't give you the authority to do Amrit Sanchar here because you're going to give the maryada of a kal takht sahib we have our own maryada whoever comes to our dere wherever we will do Amrit Sanchar We're going to give our own personal maryada not the akal takht one akal takht di maryada ni tuhanu dassan deni assi apne deriyan ch You're thinking they're giving you respect they don't accept the maryada of akal takht they're honoring you and you're coming as representatives of akal takht how do you not realize this that they are haters of your maryada They're honoring you on stage. They're using you to promote themselves when you say is sthan di maryada bahut vadiya. Then you go to the next place is sthan di maryada bahut vadiya. You guys were supposed to be walking with the flag of Akal Takht's maryada. Supposed to make the panth one. But y'all didn't do that. I hope the ones who are awake think about this issue. The people who are stuck in their groups aren't going to think though. We can only become one if we have one maryada. I also want to clear this that this maryada of Akal Takht Sahib has many things that can be improved upon, but but to make us one for today's sake it's the best one. Ek karan layi kaum nu ajj di kadi vich sab to vadiya. But now what happened on June the 6th Kirpal Singh Badungar Gurbachan Singh the Jathedar of Akal Takht Sahib and all of the other Jathedars all went to Taksal and there Taksal put forth a mata that said the historic Puratan maryada should be given prominence ode te pehra ditta javega everyone standing there said theek a meaning in the near future they're implying that at Sri Akal Takht Sahib This maryada will be administered. Now which one to administer? Is the Nihang maryada pratan or is Taksal's maryada pratan? Which maryada is the pratan one? I want to repeat myself and say that the closest to Gurmat is Akal Takht Sahib's maryada. And what should have happened was these jathedars should have been standing in support of that. They should have given people like us support. Good job. You're fulfilling the role as a volunteer for Akal Takht. by doing prachar in accordance to gurbani shabash 
But now it seems that instead of trying to improve the Akal Takhts Maryada based solely on Gurmat principles, they're more keen to mix it up even more. If they want to mix up the Maryada more, instead of going up, want to go down, then you can go down, but we'll think about it. We'll think. If we want to stand there or go forward, going backwards isn't in the question. So I raised this question so that some brothers or sisters of mine, some concerned Sikhs will think, yeah man, that makes sense. We should get together. And loads of people did think. Out of the Sangat, many understood what I was saying and thought about it, even contemplated. I received many phone calls of people saying, Galatan thika. We never even thought before that by using the Panj Pyare, they've put their group ideology, their Jathe Bandi through the medium of Maryada and to our mind. We never even thought of this before. Now these guys are talking about sitting with me. Now every other group leader gives out a statement. Come to one maryada and I'll sit today. Say, we are loyal to Siri Akal Takht Sahib's maryada. We will accept it. We want to become one. Give this statement first, then come and talk to me. You're all talking about becoming one, but you're all holding on to differing beliefs. How can I talk to you? Your beliefs are totally different. The way you see a situation is the opposite of how I see it. You believe in 30 foot tall shaheeds. You guys believe in oranges falling down from the heavens. You guys believe that there were princesses who were dogs in their past life who did years of meditation. You believe things like this. Our beliefs are totally different. We say Guru Sahib has taught us how to live life. Gurbani gives us guidance. We don't need a different maryada. Akal Takht's maryada should be universal. Slowly six can become one. Then after time we'll tell how we improve on it. What response did I get? A panth do ki He's an enemy of the panth. He attacked the amrit. I'm talking about making a universal. How do I attack it? You guys are the ones attacking it. You guys divided it. I'm the one talking about bringing it together. Whenever I say something, why do you guys cut it up into such little clips? Why don't you play the full thing I'm saying? A while back, I had a program at Kumna. There I said that these guys, what they do is... 25 sings come, then in essence the part is worth more. Do more men make our Guru stronger? Our Guru's Bani, every single Shabd, every single word is powerful regardless. Gurbani in itself is powerful. Every line you should understand and contemplate. So much bliss. Now you're saying that if 25 sings do it, then the part is more divine. Okay, then that's divine. Then the one with 5 sings, is that less significant? Then that means 2500 sing one is even bigger. Tomorrow someone will do a 25,000 one or 2.5 million one day if men make it bigger. We were supposed to get wisdom by reading every Shabd. Learn how to live life. In case of an emergency, we could listen to a Khand part, but we should all be doing Saj part. A Sikh Saj part should be constant. Every Shabd we should read and contemplate so that our eyes open, man. That's how mine opened. When we start to understand Gurbani, then lots of things become clear. That man, Bani says this, what am I doing? Like when I found out what Gurbani had to say about malas. This is written in Gurbani, so I dropped my mala. I don't need to go against my Guru. As I understood more and more, I accepted. And I will continue to correct any of my mistakes in accordance to Gurbani for as long as I live. So on that stage, what I said was, these parts that you do, when innocent people come to you, Babaji, this problem has happened in my life, do a support part, or a 25 sing part, people pay for your tickets. So in these parts, you say they have special power, but what did I say to you? I said that if these parts really have great power, then to kill me, just do a part. These powerful part formulas of yours, Pachi Singa part, didn't any of your Babas give you a formula that if someone starts speaking against you, do this part and they'll die? But now even if you guys kill me, these questions, they're already on the internet. Everyone will ask you over and over wherever you go. Har morte. So I said, these parts of yours, you tell people that they make wishes come true and make things happen. 
But you people call me your biggest, most evil enemy. Don't you have a type of bot that can just kill me? Why do you waste time swearing at me or doing assassination attempts? And what did these guys start saying? He's attacked Gurbani. Is this an attack on Gurbani? I don't even believe in this stuff. That Gurbani should be used to do parts, some part parts, stuff like that. I don't believe in that. What I believe is that you should read, understand what's written, acquire wisdom. That's what I say. He's attacked Gurbani. I haven't attacked Gurbani. I've attacked your Pakhand, Pakhandiyo. I've attacked your deceitfulness from which you trick innocent people and embezzle them. That is what I attacked. It's pretty obvious. I didn't attack Gurbani. Acha. So instead of coming out with an answer in your own defense of the 25 Singh part as to how a Sampat part has any benefit logically with some sort of proof but no you didn't do that instead you just started threatening me his time has come he's attacking Barney he's attacking Amrit this isn't attacking Amrit man my brothers and sisters People like this aren't going to understand nor accept anything, but you can. Anyone who is neutral, I urge you to try and understand. In the past month, there have been countless attempts to somehow defame me. We have many Singhs who live here, many come and many go. What the past of someone who comes to live here is, I don't know. He says, I want to stay with you. I say, if you want to stay here, don't make any mistakes. If you make a mistake, I will dismiss you. Satvachanji Tika. If someone lives here and makes a mistake, countless have made mistakes and I've dismissed them. Please go. If you want to act like this, go home. Don't live here and do this. Okay. Now, if someone makes a big mistake, then it's on the police. If someone commits a big crime, then it's the law. One will go to the police, the case will happen, and whoever committed the crime will go to jail. And if my guys make a mistake, I dismiss them. But these guys put such ridiculous allegations on Parmeshwar Dwar. Rape happens there, crimes happen there. Are these answers to my questions? For example, listen to this small clip someone posted. ਗਰੀਆਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਆ ਸਾਦਾ ਬੜੀ ਛੇਤੀ ਭੁੱਲ ਗਏ ਜਦੋਂ ਬੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਮਾਰ ਖਾ ਕੇ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਭੱਜ ਕੇ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਮੁਜ਼ਾਹਰੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਸਨ ਬੜੀ ਛੇਤੀ ਭੁੱਲ ਗਏ ਬੁਲੰਦਪੁਰੀ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਲੋਕੇ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਾਨ ਬਚਾਈ ਸੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਸੀ ਪਾਪੀਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕੁੜੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੂੰ ਰੇਪ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਇੰਨੇ ਸਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਤੂੰ ਬੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਇਆ ਜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਵੱਡਾ ਸੰਤ ਕਹਾਉਣਾ ਤੇ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਸੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਐਡਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਯੋਧਾ ਕਹਾਉਣਾ ਫਿਰ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਵੜਿਆ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਬੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਇਹਨੇ ਸਾਲ ਲੰਘੇ ਅੱਜ ਵੀ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਮਾੜਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਗਾਲਾਂ ਕੱਢਦੇ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਬੁਰਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਘਟੋ ਘਟ ਦੂਜੇ ਨੂੰ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਿਣ ਦੀ ਬਜਾਏ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਝਾਤੀ ਮਾਰ ਕੇ ਵੇਖ ਤੂੰ ਕਿੱਡਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਪਾਪੀ ਹੈ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਗਾਇ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਟਡਰੀਆਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਆ ਯੂ ਸੈਨਰ ਯੂ ਕੇਮ ਟੂ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਐਂਡ ਰੇਪਡ ਸਮਵਨ ਦ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਹੈਡ ਚੇਸਡ ਯੂ ਡਾਊਨ ਐਂਡ you had to run for your life it's been 12 years and you haven't been given entry to canada i have three sponsorships from canada right now you can check last year my visa was approved but i didn't go i can go to canada today i have no problem man so tell me where was the canadian police such a crime all of the houses that i stayed in in canada 12 years ago they're all still living tell them to call the cops Why are you making such fabricated stories that I raped then ran away then ran for my life I'm a sinner and that's why I haven't came to Canada why such big rape allegations on me I'm dumbfounded let's say let's just say that all my sins are corrupt I'm corrupt too let's say this is a crack house but does this give you the authority to divide khande baate da amrit tell me I'm wrong but is dividing the butter right does that give you the license to do so does that give you the right to do whatever you want and for the guys in the middle vich vichale je they're saying we should stay away from controversy or dispute we should be one listen pyareo i'll shut up today but that'll just give the dividers more opportunity they'll take the system to another level If someone were to say to Guru Nanak Dev Ji bhai 
Manaj, you shouldn't say anything. You're saying I'm not going to walk around a fire. I'm not going to wear a janeu. Instead of throwing water to the sun, you threw it towards the fields. You're against everything. Guruji, don't do this. Think single. In whose support is this person? If someone comes to give them advice, Tusi ji chop kar jo. Who is he supporting? Pujari, Brahman. Now the people who are giving me suggestions, na ji dubda na pao, don't cause controversy, then I'll just shut my mouth. And it'll go in these guys' favor. Now look, countless people believe that you can be liberated by bathing at pilgrims. Maharaj said, Soche sochna hovi je sochin lakhwar. Many believe you meet God by staying quiet. Controversy? Chup hai, chup na hovi je lai raha, liftar, chup rehna al rab ni milda. Staying hungry gets you to God. Even if we put all the treasures of the world in your stomach, still your hunger won't be satisfied. It goes both ways. Clever tricks and book smarts won't get you to God. In just four lines, look at the blows delivered. But whoever believed in this stuff, they were saying you've started controversy. But our Guru gave his views honestly, whether someone accepted it or not. Whatever seems right to me, I always say it. Whatever anyone thinks is right, just say it, alright? You guys should talk about my views, talk about whatever you think is wrong, this is wrong. Alright, just put up those videos, but why resort to death threats, man? Even if everything I do is wrong, does this give you the authority to act like gangsters? If there's an eyewitness who's going to give a statement in court, he swears the oath in the court, he's going to tell the truth of who committed the murder he witnessed. And he thinks, I don't want to hurt anyone, I want to keep everyone happy. I don't want to hurt anyone. Tell me what kind of witness will he be? Obviously he'll lie. What will he do then? He'll just stand up there, beat around the bush, and not state any facts. That's what'll happen if you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. What can I do? It's not like I want to hurt anyone. 18 years in this field, I've seen a lot of things. There's nothing I haven't been given. So much love, respect, huge crowds listening to me. The enthusiasm with which people came to see me with. The love I've received, I know no one else has. It's not like I love that everyone's swearing at me. I could have just kept it cool with everyone. Today, if I start singing the praises of your Mahapurks, you'll start loving me again. Because you're connected to Babbe. If I praise your Babbe, you'll praise me. I don't praise them and you're against me. Whoever sings their praises, you give them encouragement. You're happy with them. Like these pracharaks that are in the middle. Andar digal, andar digal karo. These guys, you know what it is? They want to be babbe. Because when they go abroad as pracharaks, then what happens is, they get a room in the Gurdwara, basic simple service. Koi ni puchta. If they make themselves look like they have a high avastha, there are three, four pracharaks like this. Then people take them home and take care of them. They want that star baba treatment. Even though they know what Gurmat is, it's not like they don't know, oh they know everything. That Gurmat is this and Manmat is this. But the reason why they're doing Gol Mol Galla is because they want that star Baba treatment. And I've gotten too much of that Baba treatment. So many people gave me love. But today, I've got off that chair and meet people like a man. I say, let's be Gursikhs. Let's be brothers. What am I gonna get out of being a Baba? It's not like I'm gonna be here forever. We should walk the right path. Why should we add more filth? Isn't there enough already? I could have started my own Maryada too. It would have trended. No one stops you. You can make as many as you want. But if you try to bring everyone together, then you'll be labeled as RSS, as a sellout. It's hilarious, man. Some say, he does this stuff for popularity. Buddy, God's blessed me with more than enough popularity in my life. I don't need any publicity or popularity or anything. Another main point I wanted to speak on, to those who are saying our hearts are in pain. Tadriyamwala doesn't believe in history. I don't believe in the history, that is wrong. You're saying I don't believe in Itihas? Look. 
Suraj Prakash Granth's Katha happens in most Gurdwari. In there, it's written that Guru Nanak Sahib put the Janeu on. At first, they didn't accept, but after they gave in to the Pandit. How can I believe in this history? And in Suraj Prakash Granth, on another page, it says that the four Vedic texts or Veda, the four Vedas, took the form of human bodies. The scriptures turned into four humans because they had been cursed. They turned into four parts whose bani is written in Guru Granth Sahib. Then Brahma came himself too as a part. They came and then wrote bani, then disappeared. When they came to meet Guru Arjun Dev Ji, Guru Arjun Dev Ji had four arms, meaning they're the incarnation of Vishnu. That's the story about the four Vedas who became four parts. So the main question is this, should we accept that the Vedas came down to write Guru Granth Sahib's Bani? Isn't this clearly saying we're Hindus? Can't they make a claim tomorrow that in your historic Granth, it's written that our Vedas became humans and wrote your Bani? They had no birth, they just came, wrote Bani and disappeared. What kind of nonsense is this? Books transformed into humans. Santok Singh has written this. And what else? Guru Gobind Singh summoned a goddess and promised her that he will sacrifice his family. The Devi gave a knife and said, Here, do Amar Sanchar with this. It says the goddess blessed us with everything. Look at how they're trying to stain our religion. Look at how they're giving us a sweet pill of poison by tarnishing our most precious times in history. They make our Guru look like a druggie, saying they ate marijuana and took opium. This is written in our Granths. The other day someone wrote a poem and it got so much attention. He wrote, me and Nanak were drinking alcohol together. It hurts hearing something like that, doesn't it? But what if that person wrote, me and Nanak were taking marijuana together? If he wrote this, we'd be infuriated, wouldn't we? How could he write such a thing? And if we said to him, why did you write this? He'll say, what did I write? It's written in your Granth and in your Gurdwara you do its Katha. Your Mahapurks did Katha of it. They fight for this Granth. It was written there. So I was chilling and just decided to write. Mate nanik kathe pang pinde. Then what will we do? When people will start finding all the other contaminations in our Granths and start making fun of us. It's the age of social media, man. Let's say a shop gets shut down because of contamination. The second shop also gets an inspection and is shut down too. The third shop gets inspected, it too was contaminated, shut down. If we want our shop to be saved, then we've got to clean it all up by ourselves. If someone comes to the shop, it should be pure, clean. The mix-ups in our history books leads to kids coming and asking me, why does it say this in Sikhi? Many come and ask me, all I can say is, it's in our history. It's not in Gurbani. How can this be true? It doesn't add up, not with Gurbani. Gurbani can answer any question of yours, but our history has so many mix-ups. Just accept that history, which makes sense according to Gurbani. Suraj Prakash Granth also says, Guru Har Rai Sahib was married to seven girls when they were 10 years old. And just think for a second, can we accept this as our history? How can we accept this type of history, man? How can we believe they did weed? You can believe it. We're not gonna. Attack on history. This type of stuff must be removed. We should have the eyes to see what's right and what's wrong. This is wrong. We shouldn't accept it. This is wrong. We shouldn't accept it. This is common sense. And if you're saying this is hurting our sharda or our faith, the truth is incorrect sharda should be broken. Develop real sharda for Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Gurbani's knowledge should reach every soul. Gurbani's light should shine everywhere. That's true Sharda, which we should develop. But for these guys, these guys who have their ideologies firmly planted in their minds, they're not gonna listen. They're just gonna attack me and swear at me. They're all on one side. I say, everyone who's with me can even leave. I'll stand alone and stay standing. These things that I'm saying, I'm gonna keep saying. You can do whatever you want. I'll keep raising these questions. 
Why are you praying for unity when you're using the Bhatta to split our people up, to put your biases in people's minds? And on the other side, you're doing prayers for Panthik Ekta, Panthik Unity, one side Panthik Ekta, the other side your own variety of Amrit, and calling me a Guru Nindak, calling me Amrit hater, calling me history hater, when you guys are the ones doing it. So do whatever you want. I'm going to keep going because I'm having fun. And it feels really good inside. Whoever knows me, meets me, hangs out with me, they know how I am. How I am at all times, they know. I'm not some tripped out soul. I know exactly when and how I should discuss which topic and that's how I do it. Shoot me in the head and still my smile won't leave. You'll see when we meet eye to eye eventually. I know you guys are even hiring contracts to kill Pracharaks today. I know. What can I say? It is what it is. So whenever there's a program, they put out threats saying we're not gonna let it happen because we're gonna cause commotion. So we can either start fighting with them, bring armed men, start a war killing each other. Then everyone will say we're just killing brothers. We just let the authorities know that we're having a program. We hope nothing happens, so just help us out. Then they set up security. What else do you expect us to do? They're trying to be bullies. They've already killed one of our guys. And some of our scholars are writing posts saying we're stirring the pot on purpose. No man, I'm telling the truth, they killed one of ours. We're not going to quiet down. If they're putting such ridiculous allegations like rape on my name, can I ask truthful questions then? These false ideologies that they've made, can't I call them out? I will continue to call them out. And if you're scared, you guys can stay quiet. If you're worried for your writings, it's all good. And another thing, People like Sardar Kirpal Singh Badungar, who is considered understanding and wise, author of many books. People like them should think about making the maryada one. Talk to everyone and say, let's all come together under one unified maryada for all six. So you can do whatever you want. I know about all these things because I come from the line of Babi. And another thing I remember you didn't give an answer to. Instead, you just redirected the conversation. The fact that everyone now calls me Virji. They all call me Pai Ranjit Singh. And before I used to say people call me Baba. Today there are loads of Babi that say Sangat calls me Baba. Sanuta Maapurkh Baba Ji Sangat Kendiya. But if they want... If they look at how people call me Pai Ranjit Singh, they can stop it too. So this obviously means they themselves want the Sangat to call them Mahapurk. Instead of giving an answer to this, they just started swearing at me. Okay, and my final point is this. That many people are trying really hard right now to defame me and to defame the whole of Parmeshwar So many allegations. And they're even trying to buy people who live here. Some of my closest things, we have all the recordings where they're calling over and over again saying, come out slowly, we'll get you set up abroad, we'll take care of you, you don't got to worry about anything, you just got to give us some information once. Many attempts are being made right now. I'm going to say this again, however many attempts you have, use them all. I'm going to keep saying what I've got to say. You can put rape allegations on me or any allegations. Try to buy my sings. It's all good even if one or two of my guys do sell out. I don't care. Whatever happens, I'll be here to give answers for it. And for the Jathidar of Sri Akal Takht Sahib and Karpal Singh Badungar, I know you are intelligent gentlemen, so I urge you to listen to my points, think about them and contemplate them. Let's try to clean things up for once, Jathidaro. Milavat na kar deo kete, safai karndi koshish kare ho. These were the points I was meaning to discuss and I'll keep discussing until my throat stops. I'm really happy for the simple fact that now I use my brain and throat for a good cause. Because before, you know how it was? Whichever Baba invited me, I'd go there and sing his praises. All the Baba followers were happy. But now besides Guru Sahib's Bani, we don't sing any other praises. Read Gurbani, understand Gurbani, and implement it in your life. Everyone should start doing Sajpat in every home. It's essential. Please forgive any mistakes. I know lots are going to despise this, more are going to swear at me, but it's all good. No matter what they think, I'm just going to keep on going. Guruji knows what's in my heart.
These are my requests. Forgive any mistakes that I might have made. Why Guruji ka Khalsa? Why Guruji ki Fateh?